Hello everyone, welcome to my video on Autarky versus Free Trade. Uh, it's mostly about free trade because we already did Autarky. In my previous video on supply and demand, I used this demand curve and this supply curve. And I was able to solve for our equilibrium quantity, price, consumer, producer, and total surplus over there. I already did that in my other video. That's Autarky. Autarky is just when the market is left alone and there's no outside trade. I want to introduce a new situation now where we have trade with the world and the world price is 100. Now I will say just like the supply and demand graph is a very simplified version of reality, so is this going to be a very simplified version of trade. We're going to assume that at this price the world can supply any and every quantity that we could ever want. And so the world just will dump in and fill in at that price and the price won't change. So, let's figure out what happens now. We knew before that the equilibrium price was 140, which means our world price probably looks something more like this. I know it's not to scale, I'm not an artist, but world price is 100. And so that's 100 on this price axis. Now, first thing you're probably gonna see is that the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied do not equal each other. We are not in equilibrium, at least not if this were autarky. Uh, our quantity demanded, let's figure out what that is actually real quick, and then we'll come back to it. Quantity demanded equals 200 minus P is 100, and quantity supplied equals 1 half times P minus 10 is 40. All right, let me get those out of the way real quick. So, quantity demanded, quantity supplied are 140. All right, so this gap, what looks like a shortage, if there were no trade, in this case is a gap for the world to fill in. We are going to buy 100 units of stuff, our demanders are, and our suppliers are only gonna make 40, which means we're, oops, Got ahead of myself. Which means that we are going to buy 60 units of the good from the rest of the world. We made 40, we're buying 100. That means we have to buy 60 from someone else. We call that imports. We import if quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. And we export if quantity demanded is less than quantity supplied. In this video, I'm not gonna show an actual export example. All the math will be the same. All the ideas will be the same. It would just be what happened if our world price was above the equilibrium autarky price of 140. Okay, so let's see. Let me fill in a few gaps. Quantity demanded under trade or with the world price is 100. Quantity supplied is 40, so our imports are 60. Let's calculate our consumer and producer surplus now, and then we'll do total surplus. So quick reminder to you guys, consumer surplus is everything below the demand curve up until the price. Below demand curve, above price. So it's all that stuff. Uh, you'll notice that it's very different than what it looked like in the autarky video where it cut off there at equilibrium and was just all this space. Consumers have benefited a lot from importing. Why? Because they can buy more stuff at lower prices. They were buying 60, now they're buying 100. They were buying those 60 for 140 bucks each, now they're buying it for, for $100 each. Consumers like imports. Let's calculate our consumer surplus. Uh, it's one half times, let's see, the base of that triangle, it's 100 units across, and it's 100 units tall, so 5,000. Cool. Next, let's figure out our producer surplus. 
Well, producer surplus is everything below price and above the supply curve. It's basically that. Uh, it doesn't have to be the tiny sliver of a triangle. That's just by virtue of how I drew the graph. Uh, what you will find, how oops, uh, what you will find, however, is that it will always be lower in import markets than under autarky. Just as the consumers gain from trade, our producers lose when we import. Why? Because our producer surplus is equal to one half times forty. That's how wide that triangle is. And it's eighty dollars high. Let's see, it's gonna be sixteen hundred. All right, so what happened to the producers? They are selling fewer products at lower prices. That hurts them. They don't like that. Uh, let's see, total surplus in the market, however, is the sum of both, is the sum of all surpluses. So 5,000 plus 1,600 equals 6,600. All right, so what do we see here? I see that consumers benefited from imports, producers were harmed, but that overall, our society gained. Total surplus went up. This is why, this is one of the main arguments that people will use to support free trade agreements, because they create the most well-being for society. However, in my next video, we're going to introduce the concept of a tariff, which is a tax on trade, which has the goal of protecting our producers because our producers are harmed by trade. Uh, so that'll be the next video though. Hope this was helpful for you. If not, too bad. Good luck you guys and happy econing, if that's a word.